start recording. Hopefully this was like a great overview for me. I'm like, this is what I wish I had had. And I think I watched something like this at the life coach school. They had like an entrepreneurial um, bookkeeping thing that I watched in like 2020 when I had first started my business. I like binge listened to all the stuff about like how to do like your papers and stuff and totally forgot about it until this year. So I would say that like the biggest thing for you guys to do would be, um, if I um, just say, if you want work with Diane, with an accountant, Diane is an option. Last Diane, you want to take a look at, um, last year's taxes. Um, also Dorit, I had a client, I forgot that you were also in California. Um, and I, if I'm blanking and you live in California, I'm so sorry for forgetting that. Um, but there, it was really interesting. She was getting like, it was like $800 to file your taxes in California. Like for someone to just file for you, it was a very strange thing. And Diane was like, no, they do not need to do that. Um, just make sure like, so, um, one of my clients contacted her and helped her figure it out. So if you're getting like some weird, like yeah, it's $800 to file with me. Just contact Diane. She can work in all 50 states. Um, but if you want to work with, um, to do, um, I would say that um, things that you would be great would be um, follow as an LLC, get approved as an s -Core. Diane can do that for you. I had her do it for me. So don't ask me because I don't know how to do it. Um, she could also do a QuickBooks training and show you how to do that. I would say like invest, I would, if you're working with Diane, she'll send you the exact QuickBooks to do. And there was actually like a deal going on at the time where she got me a discount. So like ask her, I pay around the same as you do to me, Tria. I think I pay like for 39 or, or 50. I think the prices just went up to 50, but like, so you did great. Whatever you're paying for, I think is the exact same thing I am. But um, I would recommend getting QuickBooks or some, like other I, form of virtual accounting. Um, I don't, I used to do like an actual p &L, uh, which is a, I, I used to try and do it by hand in an Excel spreadsheet. And it just makes a lot more sense to do it with QuickBooks um, because your accountant can use it and it can be used for your taxes. Um, make a business bank account and a separate personal account with the same bank because I had a personal account with one bank. My business was with another bank. I wanted, it was um, like, I wanted to support like a local um, bank that's also like a black owned business. And I was like, hell yes, I want to do this. So um, I switched, I like have two separate banks right now. And the reason, um, that that was a problem. You want to have it with the same bank, um, just so that you can transfer within. Like if I have like a personal, um, charge that like we, we paid for Jax's, um, training our puppy. <laughs> so it's like, I needed $2,000 for that. I just transferred it from my business to my personal account. That's totally fine. It's called a distribution. But if it was with a different bank, it would just take a lot longer. It could get confusing. There could be fees and stuff like that versus me just like clicking a button and being like, boop, switch in, um, just putting $2,000 over to that account. Um, I would say this is number one. I would say number two is file and get an LLC. Um, and then if you want to work with Diane, just have her do the LLC and S Corp with you. And, um, that. Are there any questions? She wants to me to get approved as a QuickBooks trainer, but that'll come in the future. Don't need to do that now. And I'm just going to double check with her and make sure that I can show you my numbers like legally, but I'm, I'm good with being completely transparent with my price, pricing and everything I'm earning. Okay. Are there any questions? Uh, I, so I only did, um, the training, I just did the QuickBooks training and then just like met with her as my accountant. I'm going to try and meet with her quarterly though. That was something that was recommended to me just because my income has gone up 
a lot like within the past year um and it's going to go up a lot this year I think because starting the group and stuff it's it's been um it's been really good but I want to make sure that I'm setting aside the right amount for taxes like 40 percent is like the general amount but I think what happened this year also is that like I went from like here to like here very quickly so and I'm thinking that like depending on where this year goes, like, it's like, it was just a larger percentage than I was anticipating because my business grew really quickly. Um, so that was that. And I didn't realize Dorit, I was just saying at the very end, um, I will send you a, a W9. I thought I didn't have, based on our emails, I didn't think I needed to fill out the W9, but I will send you a W9 that's filled out for all of your accountants. So, cause I'm a tax expense. That's what, what I was like talking about. I'm like, I will save you money and I will make you money. I'm like, I literally like, you will hopefully be able to file this with your accountant. And if, or um, when you file your personal taxes and if you have any issues, just let me know and get it to you either. Cause I know Diane is like swamped with all of her taxes right now. So whenever she gets, I'm going to fill it out right after this call. Hopefully she'll get it back to me tonight, but within the week. Are there any questions about that? Yes, Dorit. I, I was confused. She said, no, just send this to your client. And I was like, oh, but then I sent you a blank one and I need to fill it out. So that's on me. But beautiful. I hope that training was really helpful. Let's get into some general coaching while you guys have me you're my only coaching call today so who wants to get into it today carrie bring it i feel like i haven't i haven't volunteered in a while i've i had to jump off a couple of times so i'm like i need to want to get coached yes tell me what can i help you with um i think everything is going pretty well January is you know my my first this has been my first month as a like having my own business and not this being my side hustle it's just something I've been doing a solopreneur now (laughs) yes yes um January was great I have a partnership that got me a client I was super happy about um I had two people reach out to me um, just for, like that, um, uh, consults and that are, you know, wanting to do business with me. And I feel like I've been so focused on January that I don't want to let, you know, marketing and outreach happen or, you know, kind of fall behind for February. So, I'm just, you know, besides content and getting content out there, which I think is very, very helpful. I think the advice that you've given me, I know I've asked about this, is giving out free information, right? Because I always said, I don't want to style, give styling tips. I want people to pay me for it, but gaining trust, I get that. And I think that's been really helpful. My following has grown. I'm trying not to dwell on the number of followers, number of likes by any means. Um, So I think besides that, I haven't been doing a ton of outreach, Mm -hmm. but I know just kind of talking with everybody and listening to what everyone's doing. Sometimes when I get a new follower, I think maybe I talked to this about you is that someone I met maybe started following you and you reached out right away, which I wasn't doing. Cause I always look, I'm like, is this a robot or is this a person? Mm -hmm. So now I'm sometimes when someone follows me, I just find something we have in common or what I like about their account. So like an interior designer following me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need your help. So I'm just trying to start a conversation somewhere with them. Yes. Um, but I do, I do have a client that someone for January um, she's super busy. She's a new mom and I'm, she, we had a consult 
last year. She came back, which I was very happy about. And what I like to do is for styling, I like to send them, hey, this is your invoice. Here are some pictures and styles that I think would align with your lifestyle. What are your thoughts? And once they say, yes, like you've nailed it, that's what I want to do. Let's go. I, w- I like to get the confirmation of, yes, let's go through with it. I, you know, I, I think you're aligned with what I want, with my wants and needs. Um, go ahead. So I have this client, which I sent that information to. Mm-hmm. She didn't respond. I followed up. Mm-hmm. And then she said, you know, oh, I'm super busy. Like I will get the payment to you soon. And I was like, well, okay. I didn't even start yet because I didn't, you didn't like, I need that confirmation to know that I'm on the same page with you. Yeah. So I guess, I don't know if I'm handling it correctly or if there's another way. So what I would do is I think that you giving them a little bit of information ahead of time about like, here are some styles. What are your thoughts? I like that. The thing Mm -hmm. that I don't love about that currently. And the thing that I've realized is like, I don't want you to have to do extra work for a person who isn't going to sign. Not that I'm saying that like people aren't even going to sign, but like, Mm -hmm. it's kind of this mentality. Like I love you over delivering and giving value ahead of time, but you can do that with, I think your content and like, I just want to make sure that that you, so, Mm -hmm. okay. So you're saying I don't have to go the act. And that's, I think I do that too much where I know it's something I need to scale back on is especially just the overarching where I'm trying to figure out what I'm worth. I'm trying to just stick with what I'm offering now. Yes. So I'm comfortable with it. And then as, like you said before, just stick with it. Mm -hmm. give it like five months. And when you're thinking, oh my God, I am worth so much more and I'm comfortable charging more then do that. So I, I'm trying to work on not over delivering. Like it is my personality because it's good. I'm going to like stay right here. And like, let's not, I really am nervous about running into issues where someone's like, I don't like that. And I'm like, well, oh, I just spent hours on it. So <laughs> exactly. And so I would say that there's a difference between over delivery and validation. And I think that a little bit of what you're doing is like looking for validation to be like, is this like, is this good? Do you like, look, see, it's going to be so worth it. You yeah. know what I mean? And I think there's a part of that. That's really, really good. I also know that for, if we're thinking about what's going to be feasible for you, moving forward like you guys are going to be getting a ton of people I mean like you're about to be do you've got so much more time now you're gonna have time to do outreach you're gonna be going to boutiques you're gonna be going to like have these like women's social club events like joining like entrepreneurial like whatever kind of groups that you start to be a part of this goes for everyone I want you to know that you like you every single program in this group is in demand Like there is a need for it in the world. That is why we like necessity is the mother of invention, right? Like, so it's like every single one of your businesses is something that is beautiful, something that is very, very needed. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that whatever you're doing now, you're setting yourself up for success. So it's easier to scale back versus scaling, or it's easier to scale up versus scale back. So if I want you to pretend that if you had, 10 people reaching out to you right now to work with you. Would you have time to do this reasonably where you send them the styles ahead of time? If you don't even know if they're going to work with you. Probably not. Like it would probably drive me crazy. Okay. And like one of the things, like I know eventually, like I I've talked with you guys about this, like, I would love to like have like people in the, like be messaging you guys all the time, give more, like maybe one-on-one coaching, maybe more group coaching. I would love to like, even I've, I've had a suggestion from you guys to like do nighttime in case someone has a a full-time job. And I'm like, yes, I want to do that. But right now my calendar, not because it looks like these and your calendar is going to look like this very soon. So we don't want to be like, because, and then people talk. So like this girl might be like, Oh my God. And I actually already got styles from Carrie and I did this. And like, then it's like, well, I didn't get styles from Carrie. 
ahead of time. You want to set it as like a baseline. This is what I'm doing. This is what I have like capacity for. And if you do, if you're getting a bunch of clients and it seems like this is working great. Now, when we talked about like doing a, um, the follow-up email, mm -hmm. I keep my follow-up email very, very brief. This is after you've done a consult with them. And that's why for you guys, I have like the, um, the payment email. It's like, here's the payment. Here's what we talked about. And here is, um, and here's my contract. Once you send that in, then I will send you the, like the nice onboarding email that has all the fun stuff in it. But while you're on the call with them for, um, for the consult, you're taking notes, right? Mm -hmm. What yeah. I would do personally, so that you don't have to spend another minute on a person that might not be a yes, right? It, like a person that might be a no for now. I would say, include that, include the notes, include the payment and be like, let me know when you want to work with me and then move on to the next person as okay. far as something goes. How does that land first? Yeah, good. I, yeah. I like, I, I'm so, I, I think I have this fear about not setting an expectation or, or not being clear where someone's going to come back and be like, oh, well, you didn't say that, or I don't like that. And I'm going to do a new one. And that's something I think I might just have to outline. Like that just gave me an idea in your, yeah. your onboarding email is that I don't have a contract right now. I don't have. That's okay. Hey, you hey. You, and I, and that's what some, sometimes I feel like there's so much I still have to do, which I'm working on. Like, okay, I'll, I'll get there. Um, but that's, that's kind of a fear I know that I have is that not setting the expectations up front so people know. And thankfully, I haven't had any issues, but I just in other industries I've worked in, I hate to have someone come back and be like, well, you didn't say that, you know, and I kind of know in my head, like, I know I should have, you know, things written down or yeah. something that says, oh yeah, she said that. So, but you do have, like when you work with somebody, mm -hmm. Like you do say like, okay, I will come in for this date, do this, right? Like, it's like, you do have something like that somewhere, right? Yeah, but it's not written. It needs to be written. I think that's just something I have to do. So it's ready and just have a like, template. Good to yeah, go. And maybe like on like your consult call, you yeah. can be like, okay, here's what we're going to just write it on Hold whatever, up. um, whatever this document is. So in, it doesn't have to be a legally bounding contract or anything like that. Sorry, that on your actual consult call, like mm -hmm. you actually have to have like a legally binding contract. If you're already including that in the payment email, just say like, have like a copy paste. It doesn't need to be anything formal or anything like that. You can just be like, we'll work together X amount of time. This is the price, just so you know. Okay. So, so they can see it. You do not need to have that. You just need to wait for them to pay you and the notes that you take. I think okay. that would be clear enough. Um, so as I do that on the consult notes, the other thing um, that I was going to mention to you is like, um, do that on the consult notes. You said something and it made me think of something. And, oh, okay. The other question I had for you is um, what I would say is a big thing. If there is no date set then she's just gonna pay you whatever like she's like whatever yeah um I would set the date on the consult call like set start date on consult call do like, you think it's bad if I'm saying and I think we've talked about this do you think it's bad if I let them get off the phone and say hey think about it or do I sit on the consult and go what do you think I would say that on the consult they either say yes, and then you send them the um, payment email, or they say, think about it. Mm -hmm. or, like if, if they say, think about it, then you send them um, the fall. You set a date for follow up. Okay. Um, yes, set start date and payment email. If they say, think about it, say, set a date for the follow-up. And in the module three, I think it is, I have like, um, 
you have, sorry, I added a couple more folders. So now I'm like a follow-up email that looks like. This. Yeah, I think we have that too. No, that's a consultation evaluation um, right here. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. Here's the contract and here is the link for our follow-up call and my notes from today. I also, and then I add that I added to my email list. I think I'm actually going to dig that out because it's just too much. Um, and then if they say no, say, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. Um, I'm including our notes and okay. thank you so much for meeting with me and I'll see you soon. So I'm just going to okay. say, um, no, um, augmented, augmented follow up just to say thank you here are notes okay um and like what I say on the call is like I'm like I'll still be in touch to like keep up like um I'll still be in touch and can't wait to hear how you're doing okay actually have the reason why I don't even have this which I should totally make for you guys and I'll add it to our google um I'll add it to our google classroom is that I haven't gotten, I've gotten so few no's on the call that I don't even have that, but I actually got a no last week, a no for now and totally fine. And it was like super, um, like she's so sweet. She can't wait to get coaching in the Facebook group and things like that. And so that's going to be good. Um, so how does that, that land? Good, good. That I, I just have to do it. And I think that'll, as long as I like templates and I think that'll be great. Like I have, I went over, I have a form, an intake form with, you know, why, like, what are your problems? What are you struggling with? And then, you know, my response is easy. Like, this is how I'll help. This is how I'll fix it. Right. So I can understand like putting that in a follow-up email too, to kind of add the value of like, Boom. this is what you're throwing away. <laughs> Perfect. Like, this is what you wouldn't have. Now, yeah. <laughs> another thing that you mentioned is, um, you also mentioned about like changing prices. These yeah. are the parameters I've been told to change prices. And I agree with them mm -hmm. because I like, this is, this is why I like it as well. It's like, if you, if, um, if you're in demand or just feeling like if you're feeling confident about what you offer. So it's like, for me, I, um, an exciting thing I haven't told like anybody, pretty much anybody. I mentioned it. Um, Dorit was texting me about the W9. So she's the only one that knows in our group and at anywhere. But there's a group called the Coaching Posse. That's a pretty big group of life coaches. It's all LCS certified coaches. And I just got approved to be a super coach for them, which is a pretty big deal. Um, wow. Like, really. Um, yeah. So I'm doing a presentation for them on February 8th, which is also why I'm really excited, like to keep reposting you guys too. So that like, first off, they can see that I'm actually a coach and have people, but also so that they can get to know you guys and be like, Oh, here are these people to start following and maybe working with. Um, so I have a feeling that my demand might go up. Like I might, I, I I'm thinking based on like the past people who have come, no one's really talked about business. I'm going to be talking about social media systems. So I'm like, I'm thinking people might want to work with me. So if I get to the point where I'm like, I'm coaching more than 15 people on my schedule. And at, right now I'm actually at 16 and I feel like I'm going to die. Like, I'm like, it is too much along with our group and things like that. I'm like 15. I realized like 20 for some people is their limit. 15 is it for me. I'm like, uh, -uh too much. I do not, even if I could be making more money, not going to do that. So decide what your demand or your fully booked would look like. Okay. My friends that um, other people in 200K with me, they have eight clients. That's their fully booked. And they're making 200K. Like they're doing great because their prices are high. So it's like, if you are like working, I think that we said for you, it was like two people a month would be two or three or, or two to four would be like max. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have a feeling that more than four people in Raleigh and also everyone that like I have talked to about like your program has been like, duh, like that's a really cool thing. So within that, I would say that like 
you, you can either change it in five months. Don't, don't make it about the timeline necessarily is my only piece of information. Okay. Make, make it about, um, your demand. Okay. Okay. Cause like, you know what I mean? It's like, you could get like fully booked by February and then you are like, well, I can't charge anymore until like July. And it's like, no, you don't need to make it about a timeline. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter how long, like actually, um, so Carrie did the personal styling for my website and for the pictures that you guys see on my social media and, um, Devin changed her prices. Who's the person that they partner with. She does the photography and website. And then Carrie does the outfitting, <laughs> the outfitting, the personal styling. So, um, she changed her prices. She went from like 2k 5k and it wasn't even like a demand thing she was just like I also like need the money right now like there were situations going at home and she's like I feel like it's still worth it obviously like it's a 10k value but she went from 2k to 10k within like six months just because okay. um she was like in demand and like just needed it another thing that like my coach Jackie she um got unexpectedly pregnant and was like I'm not going to be able to do one and one anymore. So she was like, I'm just going to switch to group and we're going to make it work. And it was a lot for the past, like three years, but she's kind of getting in the swing of things now. So yeah. So um, that's the other, when you change price or program. Okay. I'm going to say demand confident or big life change at to read, <laughs> which might not be the big life change, but it's just something we're putting up. <laughs> Awesome. All right. I love, if you have any other questions, that was some really good clarifying stuff that like, I know it wasn't really coaching on your mindset, but like, I think it was. No, no, that trust me. That is my mindset. (laughs) Yes. I think it makes it just like a little bit more clear. It was a lot of a line, but yes, no, that's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course. All right. Who wants some coaching next? Christina, Demetria, Dorit, anybody? Bueller? Just check in. Um, Demetria, how you feeling? Um, I feel good. Okay. I so I do feel good about the fact that I have like I have an LLC, I have the separate bank account, I have all of those things. So I was like, check, 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 check. So that's exciting. Um so I feel good there and I feel better about the presentation that I'm doing and just kind of, so yesterday when I was doing my journaling, I came up with, I was doing the journaling, thinking about the week. I have a lot of things on my calendar this week that I put on my calendar and I want to do. And so I was reminding myself that I had to, I said shoulders down because when I get tense, at my shoulders go up and the thought came up um I want to um relax into my life and so I did a post about that and so I'm liking that feeling for me that messaging for my people um so I'm feeling I'm feeling good about things I am thinking about I've told the girls that we got I saw the timeline for like our bonuses at work and it's March 17th, which is a little bit earlier than normal. Okay. And so like if I get some clients on the books and like it's starting to pick up, I can give notice after March 17th because that was my like have to 55, which is in a couple of weeks. And then okay. I wanted the bonus for the year. So also like, happy early birthday. Thank you. So I mean it could be sooner than June if I when I get some people on the books, but I need, I need some bodies in my calendar. So. Yes. Yeah. And who knows, like, I know that like, there's like the college students, like that was a market that I was seriously thinking about getting into. I talked with Amber about it and, um, a, on our, I think our consult call or one-on-one call and another one of my clients, because their parents can afford the coaching a lot of the time, sometimes not for every client, but like, if you make a compelling enough argument, like to them talking about like, so that was an actually an angle that I was thinking about doing as well. The universe said, not right now, but like within that could be. And I'm so excited to hear about that, how that goes. Um, I actually, I'm going to send 
you guys two podcasts from Stacy. She talked about like the hard work versus the hustle. And you guys saw my hours clearly working an 83 ish hour week Mm -hmm. hustle. That's not good. And I wonder if like within, um, the shoulders up mentality, if that's just a familiar state of being for you in life. And I've noticed that like, for me, I was like, this is, I'm doing great. Like I really like for all of us, it's not like we, I, I wouldn't have brought you into this program. If like you were in a situation where the next meal that you had was dependent on getting a coaching client, you know, it's like, we're not in that situation. So like, now I'm like, okay, this is an amazing business. It's all about service. You know, it's like, and I actually switched, like I had like under goal, realistic and stretch and those numbers just like, I didn't love the sound of it. And so I had shoulders up mentality. I actually called a friend to get coaching yesterday. Cause I was like <gasps> coaching for the posse. I was like, it's real. And I was like, there's so much to do. And she was like, no, she's like, you're choosing to do that. And I think that my brain is just used to a very hustly state. And so I'm really glad that you're getting into that, recognizing that now, because you'll get to six figures and still be hustling when you don't even need to, if you have shoulders up mentality for like the whole time when you're building your business. And I would recommend that to everybody. Like, so I think that's really, really beautiful. Yeah. Proud of you, Lily. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Dorit, how you doing, beautiful? Hello, I'm good. I recognize I'm struggling. You know, I got this part-time job so I didn't have to stress about my business and really nourish it. Um, And I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I recognize that during those days, I do not show up at all for my business. And then I feel like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm almost just playing catch up and I'm not really present showing up in my business either. And I struggle, you know, I know you said like when you were at work at lunchtime, you would do things. I, it takes me a long time for my brain to shift focus on what I'm doing. So if like, if we have coaching calls all day and then I'm supposed to write content I struggle to shift into the content creating hat. It, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel, I feel like I'm doing something wrong and I don't know how to fix it. And I had the luxury of during COVID, like not needing another job. I was fine for a while. And now I'm like, oh, I need this, I need this job to survive. And I'm grateful for it, but it's ta- it, it feels like a distraction. Okay. So just wanna, want you to notice there are a couple of things um, that I saw. Like, I know you're from, like just um, announcing it like it's the news. You know, it's like, yes. Oh, I'm- no. And I know it's just my brain telling yeah, me stuff. So I'm, like, I'm not aware. I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm indulging in them. And I, yeah, I'm like, that sounds a little aggressive. Okay, would you die if you did not have this job? No, you might have to make some adjustments, but no death will come to you if you do not have this job. First off, second off, I think that there actually is a belief thing that I want to point out to you. So Please, you something. said, yeah, yeah, there's some love, and I don't think that what happened is I'm not sure if your brain believes that you working just Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday in your business, working maybe even one day a week is enough. Yeah, it doesn't believe it's enough. Yeah, why? Well, I think I have been taught you need, I also don't believe, I don't believe I can, oh, I don't believe I can get clients through social media. So I'm having such resistance showing up, but then I'm like, but then where do I get them from? I live somewhere. I don't know anybody. Which is like the perfect time to go to some networking events, to go to in-person events. We talked about what we did our consult about you making a meetup, you know, it's like, it doesn't have to be. And actually like when people see you face-to-face, who knows it could, I, you said it was easier than, um, than like talking to someone online, like networking meetups, um, joining 
groups. To, and we were like, this is actually the perfect time because you're new in town and you could be like, hey. Yes, my my brain, I'm going to curse for a minute. My brain's a fucking asshole right now. Like it's just coming up with every excuse of like, oh, well, I don't know what to do. What what kind of meetup would I create? What the hiking one, what we were talking about doing breath work, but like, I love that. I love your brains. Like, we don't know. And I'm like, well, we did no. <laughs> pretty much at length. We talked about it at length during spray. I know, I know. That's why I'm like, what is, ha- what something there's something at the core that I haven't gotten to that I don't know. Okay. We're going to just hold that for a second. I think that all of us think that there is some core thing that is like inherent. Like once we, once you solve for this core thing, your brain will stop being an asshole. Yeah. And I feel like I'm wasting everybody's time in here. Like, I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over and I'm sick of myself. I was like, also Christina, um, (laughs) <laughs> Unless she has something that she needs coaching on. I just coach everybody else. So you're good. And it could be helpful for everyone because I genuinely think that like we think, and I just had a huge breakthrough with a client last week was that like, she thought that there would be some point where her brain would stop being an asshole to her. Like it was just like, okay, if I just saw for this, like one inner child thing, then when I go to meetups, I'll know exactly what to do. I'll know exactly what to say. And it won't feel messy and uncomfortable. You hit the nail on the head because I've been doing so much healing work and that I'm stuck in the healing. I'm like, wait, I got to get back in the coaching. (laughs) Yeah. So if you want to do healing work, I love doing healing work. I set aside time every week to like make sure that self-coaching, I'm in hypnotherapy. I actually had a client that was like, um, yep, I put it like a big trauma with like an ex-boyfriend came up and I just booked a therapy session. I was like, this is when I'm going to compartmentalize and think about this later. We want to do that healing work on That's great. We love the healing work, but there's never going to be a point when you're like fully healed where your business feels good. Yeah. Like ever. I don't think at all. (laughs) Yeah. I think I'm supplementing the healing work for taking action because I think I need, oh, I just did a thing on, I just did breath work in the Facebook group on perfectionism. I think I'm needing to yeah. be healed perfect before I perfectly healed before we can take action. And I, who knows? I was like, um, uh, before taking action. No, it's just going to, it, it feels really, and what happens is you get to, and what, what I, I feel like in my business, like It, it feels ter- like there's like moments, like I was doing outreach um, while I got my nails done for the mastermind the other day. And I was like, it felt uncomfortable again. I'm like, I've been doing this. All- it's, it should be feeling better by now, but it doesn't, but I'm not going to stop doing outreach just because it doesn't feel good. <laughs> I'm like, if I did that, I would not have a business. I'm like, if I just wait until I felt good to take action, man, that would be great. But yeah, that the reason why we put protocols and we have like plans in place is our brain is not going to want to do anything and because it feels terrible. And we just have to be like, yes, but I've got a plan and it probably will work. And maybe on the other side of this, I'll be feeling a little bit better. Not going to bet on it, but I'm here for the business. I'm here for the future of this, you know, which is like the bad, it's like not great news. But I've literally like heard my friends at like the thousand million dollar level that are still going through the same stuff I'm going through. I'm like, oh, it never actually stops. Great. Yeah. But then it's also like, great. It's like, I'm not, nothing has, you said um, how I, it's like something wrong. Nothing has actually gone wrong here. This is actually wonderful news. Um, within your, it's like, so nothing's gone wrong. You're exactly on the right track if you're feeling insanely uncomfortable and having this business. It's actually like you are doing it all right. Now I want to come back to one day in your business is enough. So let's just say like, yes, I think that when I talked to you guys about the essential systems that I, and I posted in our group that like, um, for the next round, like all this stuff. So like, I think that if you have your offer, if you've got the selling and testimonials, if you're doing outreach, if you're doing webinars, potentially to launch one-on-one, this is what I'm like, you don't even need this. A marketing calendar, this is going to be helpful. Monday or one, again, it's like really like 
if you have an offer and a way and a way to sell people, you can hit a 6K or six figures. I mean, like literally like no one in the life coach school and in many other programs I've done had any of this ever. And they've hit six, seven figures with just these two things working like three days a week. Wow. All of this is why I said it's extra. It's additional stuff. That's like super fun and cool that we can have, but you have an offer and you have a way to sell, correct? Mm -hmm. So wonderful news, Dorit, you are on your way to a six figure year, great <laughs> stuff. And I was going to say, just like, I'm just going to put like a, if I say this, these are like the additional, um, and then this is like the extra systems. Like this is like additional systems. Those are literally the only two things that you need. And I like, the only reason why I've created all this stuff is I'm like, oh, this is like super helpful to have, especially if I've got like a lot of free time. And like when I first started my coaching business, I had no freaking clue what to do with my time. You were there. Cause I was like, I just quit teaching and I was like, what do I do? And you guys like, um, I remember Lex telling me, you need to chill out, just go to the pool. And I'm like, had a panic attack. I yeah. was like, I don't know. I was like, I feel like I should be doing something else. And then I figured out some other, I think going to the pool, if you're that level of stressed out, great plan. Just like, you need to stop. You need to regulate your nervous system, take a break. But like for the other times I would just like be like sitting there and I'd be like, not really sure what to do with my business. I know this is really important, but, and then I was like, well, I can come up with some systems. I could come up with a webinar. You don't have that right now. You've got the only two things that you need for your business to function and hit six figures this year. That's it. Yes, I do. So within that, what would you like to do? If working in your business, just let's say you just have like one day of maybe doing a meetup a week or a group a week, and then another day of like two days of coaching. So that'd be in like it, or it's like on your business. That would be like doing all these networking, meeting up, do these things. And then two days in your business. So it's like, that could be like this alternative. It's like, you've got, um, and, and let's just say like, screw social media, we're just not going to use it right now. You've gotten plenty on social media. You're, it is very clear what your business says. Anyone that I've sent to your page, and I'm doing this for all of you guys, by the way. Like I'm like, whenever I hear someone talking about things like that, I'm like, oh, you could use a coach. I'm like, let me send you to this person. And if I um have like, now, because I'm not doing general coaching anymore, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I've got so many people for you guys. Um, but within that, it's like one networking group a week and two days of coaching. What if that was enough? Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. I don't know why I don't believe that's enough. I feel like I need to be doing a whole lot more. You could, and you could work an 83 hour week. And I'm going to tell you, it can be done in a better way. And I would not recommend doing an 83 hour week ever. Yeah. No, I don't want that either. Also, hold on just a moment. Um, My mom came with my fixed phone. So hold on just a second. I'm just going to say thank you. Okay. I was just telling her thanks. Um, so great news. Don't know what just happened, but great stuff. So thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Great. Yeah. If you just want to put it on the counter, thank you. Everyone, Susan Wang is the greatest mom on the planet. Um, other than you guys who are also moms, she's the greatest mom for me on the planet. You guys are also. <laughs> um, so it's like, yeah, of course our brains want to tell us to do more and hustle and do all of these things. But you've got a wonderful business. And I'm thinking that thinking about doing all of these lovely things, which are only intended to help you, are going to add a lot of hours to your week. And it's mm -hmm. too much. You don't need all this. Like, it'd be great if you could do some outreach. It'd be great if you could do so. And we're going to say that your outreach is your networking. Yeah. Okay? 
So we're going to do, do a webinar. Cool. Let's do a webinar for fun. How awesome would it be? And Stacy actually said the other day, she was like, the purpose of webinars is not to like sign the clients. It's more to like generate excitement. I'm like, great. I like That's to sign cool. clients from them, but like what you are in control of your business and your energy alone is enough to bring people into your business. You've got the basics. You know that if you meet people and just start talking to them about their life, a lot of times they're just like, so let me tell you about like this big deep trauma I have. And it's like, oh my God, yeah. Like, let's talk about it. I would love to like work with you through that. Or like for you, we don't want to do trauma because we're not therapists, but like, you know, it's like a big change. It's like, oh my gosh, like I'm going through so many changes right now. I just moved here as well. Building friendships and relationships through these networking mean groups is enough. Yeah. How does that feel? (laughs) I'm going to choose to believe it. Why not? Let's say, okay, let's choose to believe it. So when? Say it again. What? So that we're going to choose, remember how we talked about formula? Yes. This is your formula. One day of network and two days in your business coaching. So you're going to spend like what maybe Sunday seemed like a good day for a networking group situation. Yeah. So they're going to be your, your, um, in your business, Monday, Tuesday coaching, just focus on your part-time job for the other day. So it's going to be Sundays. Um, and this means like showing up, feeling good about yourself. Again, like I like to do self-coaching every day. If you don't have time for that, then like, it just, I think really important to, for me and my mental state of being, because I haven't been doing it consistently. And I just hit a low value cycle that I was like surprised by. And I was like, Oh, here you are. No, I think self-coaching every day is good. If you want to, if you want to hard want. Okay. So how long are we going to test this formula to see if you can sign a client just by doing this? How long would feel safe? Well, I'd like to test it while we're together. So if it's not working, yeah, okay. so I let's Meg's it. help me. I think that'd be great. Okay. So what if we do it by, um, oh, and you're also like, I, if you want to keep doing the breath work in your group, I think that's a great way to do it. I think if you yeah, can. Yeah, I like doing that. I'm getting more comfortable with that. So I like, I like being consistent somewhere that, that I've been able to hold on to. Excellent. So we're going to keep that the rest of your, like, if we look at your Instagram, just like what I did with Demetria the other day, I'm like, it's very clear that what you do, I, I like that you pinned up something up there. So that, like when I send people to you, it's like going to be helpful. But yeah. I like, pinned the video and the join my Facebook group. I repinned the other thing. And then I don't know, there's something about it that I repinned it. And then I was like, no. And I had to unpin it. Okay. Then we, I think this is enough. I think it's enough for people to see what you do. I think if someone found you, they'd be like, it's, she's a coach. Okay, cool. Great news. You know? And, um, I, we're going to choose that, that this is enough. Let's try it until the end of March. So that is how long until the end of March. Okay. We have 67 days or let's say, okay. Oh, 66. I like that. Days. Okay. So we're going to try it for 66 days. Okay. You're like financially, you're good. We're going to try it for 66 days, um, which is how many weeks? Should I see how many weeks until the end of March? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to get my calendar. Okay. So we got this week, one, two, (laughs) three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You have 10 weeks. Okay. 10 networking events. Okay. I have one actually, I have a, I have a virtual one booked this week. My first one. Amazing. Okay. So check. We got one networking event. Amazing. Now we're going to try 10 networking events 
to see if it works. Okay. Again, your business is going to be just fine if you do this. Like it's going to be great. You've got it set up on social. I think you're good. We're not saying that social media is a belief. We don't want to feed that belief. Or we're just going to choose to be like right now in my business, I'm choosing to spend my energy here. You know, it's like, this is just a choice that I'm making. We're going to hold off on social media just for now. And then when I feel ready, when I feel grounded, when I feel like my like I've got maybe a couple of clients coming in when I'm feeling like that, then I'll look at that list of wonderful things I've learned. And I can think about adding one of these things. Okay. I like that. that for like a little bit. And then you do another, and then you do another. The reason why I teach you these things is because it was very helpful for me, but it's not used to hurt you at all. Okay. So, like, again, this upcoming week, we're going to be doing the financial tracker. Again, the only reason... The only reason Are you teaching us a webinar. Are I'm you still teaching you guys um, how to do the financial tracker, the rainbow one I showed you two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, I said, it's like, really, you don't even need that. Like, if you hire an accountant, which you already have, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then you're good. Then, like, if you've got an accountant, if you've got your finances set up literally to have a business, you're going to be great. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you have a business. It's great. Yes. To meet your, do that. Yeah, no, I still want to learn the finance. I want to learn everything you're teaching. Um, and you can just take might it. not have to do it right this minute, but are well, you still okay. going to teach us the webinar, how to do a webinar? Uh, well, we, we, we did that like a couple weeks ago. I'll tag you in it. That was for, um, did I miss the class? I don't know. It's here week seven. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I gave you a script. What's saying your emails beforehand? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of my shutdown weeks. Okay, yes. <laughs> I yeah, if we're shutting down. We don't need to be doing webinars. We need to have you in a, like a friendly, happy, not like a friendly, happy state. That like, because again, life is 50 50 And your girl was literally like having a panic attack yesterday trying to talk to the lady from the um, the coaching posse, and she's like, "Okay, here's what we're gonna do." And I'm like, "Yeah, it sounds really great." And I was like texting a friend. I'm like, I'm going to need coaching immediately after this. I was like, yeah, I can present to 2,800 people. Yeah. That's oh my great. Gosh. I, love oh that. my I love gosh. that for me right now. And I'm like, I, I essentially was like also in the same place where I was like, I, my back is thrown out and I'm in so much pain. Like right now, like I, I couldn't do any of my planning for my launch at all. Like I literally like my whole launch, my whole, and you know me, you know, I love a good plan. And I was like, well, I, and then my phone breaking this morning was a sign from the universe. Like you need to chill the fuck out. Like you need to get sh steroid shots. You need to get like medication. I didn't do any of these things. I got my nails done by myself. <laughs> nope. Didn't batch my content. Didn't even know if I had a phone to have content for today. So I was like, well, we're just going to do with what I can. And my formula is the same thing. I literally was like, I'm going to meet at least 10 people a day, whether it's in the posse or other places. And I'm going to just, for me, just like, even if I'm just saying, Hey, I have a webinar coming up next week. Good enough. If I'm just saying, Hey, my program is launching tomorrow. Good enough. Like, I'm like, I will tell people word of mouth. I will handle that. And this is different because I have a group coaching program now. Like, that's why it's like, cause I have a set open and closed launch date, which puts right. a little bit of different marketing pressure on. Right. Which goes right because I love it. I love you guys. And I think it's going to be really fun. And I think this program is like, even like what I posted, I'm like, this is a shit. This is even better. It's even more clear. I'm feeling really good about this next launch, but right now I just didn't have time to do marketing. So I'll thank you for the coaching. Of course. I love thank you. you ladies always for holding space. Yes, of course. Rain. <laughs> Yes, all of our brains, but the, like literally to have a business, you only need to, you don't need to do anything other than coach people, but to meet more people to coach. Yeah. <laughs> like feasibly anyone can actually, I have a, a client who I'm working with. She has had an LLC for a coffee truck that she wanted to do. And she's had her LLC since like 2016 or something like that. It, 
she has not done anything. She has a trailer. She's paying for it, which is really unfortunate. We're trying to like get her out of that zone. But yeah, so we've got that going on. But other than that, where like you do not legally have to have anything for a business, but I would love for to have your business grow. Now, the only other thing I want to ask you is like, let's set, set an intention just like before a yoga class or something. Yeah. Like how many clients would you love to welcome in to serve just because not because you need them for income. You, we, we are choosing to, it's like when we're like, I need this job to survive. We do not want to have that translate to your business and or to your clients. Cause that just doesn't feel good for anyone. So like how many clients would it be wonderful to serve? Right now it would feel good to get four clients every month. Like, I don't think that's asking for too much, but it's a, it's, it feels rhythmic. How cool would that be? Like, just to have like, and so like, I want you to like set your intention. I want you to picture a lovely woman who is going through a change, maybe not a big life change that could totally use your coaching. Yeah. And while you're at that networking event, be like, for me, what I've been doing is I'm like looking at these like businesses, like at the life coach school, I'm like, how cool like I like just click on them and I'm like, where, who did I like find? Um, I like found someone. I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to, like, I would love to help her grow her business. Like I see what she's got going on. I think it looks so cool. It would be so much fun if I could help this, um, this person with their business. So like when I'm messaging them, I'm like, this would be a lot of fun to work with you. Not attached to her at all, but I'm like, yeah. it's really fun, you know? I love that. So just like, especially because I know that like, a thing for you is also a little bit of the woo, a little bit of that manifesting energy. So like staying in the energy, being open and ready to receive would be really great. Yeah. Thank you, Megs. Of course. And if anyone needs any coaching, I will do my best to respond while I am in Cabo. Other than that, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Yeah, when, are you leaving? when are you leaving? tomorrow at 6 a.m. with my phone. So thank God. That was like the biggest thing. I'm like, I, I was like, all you need is a phone, your medication and a passport. And I was like, of course, one of the three things I'm like that I actually might need. But even then I like, I worked through it with Rob's phone and made it through. So I'll call my mom, figure out what happened, but you guys are super awesome. And I'm really, really proud of you. Have so much fun. Yeah. Have so much fun. I will really come with like a lot. I usually let end up leaving those things like super inspired. So I will come with, with like all that energy and I will be seeing you guys next Tuesday. Okay. Bye ladies. Have fun. Safe